Hello everybody, Anton is here and in this little video overview I want to talk about 3D code and how is it applicable for the large scale environments that I have right here. So I've created this particular environment mostly in 3D codes. I had some of the polymodeling done for the floral patterns inside Maya, then I dropped it inside 3D code, voxelized it and used the cut tool to cut it down, do some destruction sculpting. I'm not I will not show you how I did that. I have separate videos about that on my channel that you should go and check it out. Yeah, I really want to make a case that 3D code is a fantastic tool for stuff where you have certain natural materials like wood, iron, and stone. And I only have stone because the whole environment was based on this particular reference pack of Anko Temple, and it's all stone. I didn't have anything else there. For instance, I have this piece inside 3D code where it's uh, inputted in, voxelized. Then it's really easy to go cut, 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 create a whole bunch of blocks that uh, you can reuse in other types, you know, use it as your rubble piece, as your uh, structural piece for another type of a mesh. And there you go. Then you get it all big down to low poly meshes, and you can create, for example, this particular ramen that I have here, a modular temple, and that I think is pretty cool. And it's using just a simple Unity standard um, shader. I don't have any, any fancy stuff here. It's all been baked and they're using the substance plane to press it. I mean, created this modular set and we can easily recreate it and we can create a whole bunch of levels um, for a game or whatever and you can see here all these textures again they were done inside 3d code they're all tileable it's really easy to create tileable textures and i have a whole series of videos about how you can do it inside 3d code i'm digging pretty deep about it i don't think that 3d code is that great for hard surface stuff environments like it's really cool for types of things where you can concept or design some sci-fi elements and now at the moment i'm leaning towards blender plus box cutter and hard ops that i think are really cool tools that they provide really cool workflow for some pretty amazing hard surface stuff and i'll have more videos about it so and it's about what i wanted to talk about today and if you want uh you can get all these environments, I'll put the links in the description. I have them all for sale. And I'll have more videos about 3D code uh, coming soon and also about Blender. So hopefully this stuff has been helpful for you today and see you next time.